My dream profession wasn't being a painter. I thought I was going to be a carpenter because my father was a handman. I was doing this project for this guy in Cambridge. I was helping this carpenter. And then uh, one day, the, the painter didn't show up. And uh, he said, hey, uh, Mauro, can you paint? I said, I can try. You know, how hard could that be, right? <laughs> hey, let's, let's do it. But my boss said, you get two days to paint this room. Um, it took me four days. <laughs> but it was really nice. And I came home. I spoke with my wife, said, I think I like painting. And she said, you must be out of your mind. You, you dreamed about being a professional carpenter. He said, but you know, I just like it. And I started practicing, painting inside the closets, painting the walls, painting trims, ceiling, anything that I, I see in front of me, I wanted to paint. And um, that, that was the beginning. Then I opened my own business. Um, and then I started to get more and more work. I love my job because when I open the paint again, I love the smell of that paint. You know, I love to see spreading that paint on the wall. I love to work with the bolder colors because that pops right away. To be a good painter is, like I always say, 85% of the whole work in any painting project is the preparation. The painting part, it requires some skills, but once you get a nice prep surface, um, you will learn how to paint faster than. I started painting a, a house for this lady and um, she said, uh, if you do a great job here, my father is gonna call you. But she never told me who her daddy was. This guy called and said, listen, my name is Ross and I want you to come to my house next Tuesday. Be here sharp 6.30 a.m. I got a little job for you. I said, okay, painting the walls and around noon time, we finished everything. He said to me, uh, what are you doing? Uh, what are you gonna do the rest of the day? I said, oh, I gotta check a couple more jobs. He said, uh, I would like to um, to show you my shop. I said, what the hell? You know, this is really strange. We opened the door, and then uh, they were filming. And then he said to me, I know you know me by Ross, but uh, my full name is Ross Morash. I'm the founder of this old house and the New Yank Workshop. I want you to learn more what we do here, and we're gonna spend the day here with us. Yeah, I have no idea. He was trying me out for a different project, and he shook my hand and he said, um, listen, pal, next year, around April, I'm going to give you a call. But uh, be prepared because you're gonna be on camera. You're gonna do a project for this old house in, uh, in Newton. So get ready. Model, what's the finish coat going on top of the primer? I'm going to be applying a two finish coats of solid body stain, 100% acrylic, Kevin. Well, stain, huh? And then uh, I got a call from the producer of Ask This Old House to do a, a, a segment, uh, which was painting a metal bulkhead door. Cool. Really coming off? Yeah. I thank him every day, you know, for it got me to where I am now. But I think it's important for people to know what I came from. I grew up in Brazil, and um, I get a um, some I get a couple friends um, from my hometown that they um, they came to America and they came to Miami, and they keep sending us pictures and more pictures. And life here is different; it's so beautiful. And I got my visa, and um, and and I came and I came to Miami. We all live in this building in Miami Beach. And uh, one of the guys knew someone that lives in Boston. And he said, oh, I know someone, so let's, let's go. Well, we came, we drove a car from that here. I said, I'm gonna stay here for about one or two months and then I'll go back. I'll learn some English and then I'll go back. And uh, those, those two months became like, almost like 35 years. I think that was the best decision I ever done in my life to come to this country. You can uh, make your dream uh, come true. I like to have fun. I like to spend time with, with my wife. We go out with the kids a lot. And I like to travel. I am wish to travel with my kids. My kids, we constantly talk with them. We say, we try to learn 
everything as much as you can, and uh, don't ever forget, work hard. I learned everything by doing it. This country gave me an opportunity to do what I love, and, uh, and at the same time, uh, teaching people how to do things right. It all worked out, and that was like perfect. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.